Hi, everyone. Let's take a moment to pause and think about our environment. Most of us may be living in a fast paced and busy world. Most of us may be high performing individuals in the workplace and have a little bit of what seems like sheer madness at home. All around us is fast and quickest movement via vehicles and transportation, limited access to nature, and around every corner there is something convenient to consume. In all of this, we may feel like the victim of our environment and have very little ability to change much. Trust me, I spent years feeling this way. My name is Kenry Patel. I'm a director at a global business consulting company, and my world for the most part is what I described before. And I did feel trapped and unable to change things until I realized that many parts of the world does not operate like what we may feel in the United States and Canada. I started flipping the narrative. Am I truly the victim or can I find ways to improve my environment? That's when I came across learning more about blue zones and their secret to longevity of health. So what are blue zones? In a nutshell, there are geographic locations throughout the world that have a higher life expectancy than other areas. Some are considered affluent while others are pretty poverty driven. Places like Loma Linda, California, to an island like Okinawa, Japan, to mountain villages in Sardinia, and down to Nicoya, Costa Rica. So how are they doing this? I can summarize this in four categories for you. The first one is they eat wisely. Some of these places have mainly a plant-based diet, but all of these places are eating as natural and organic grown or homegrown as possible utilizing local gardens or home gardens and farmer's market. They're also eating in moderation, never overstuffing themselves, but becoming aware of when their stomach is 80% full and stopping. The second category is moving naturally, doing more things with their hands and connecting with their gardens and earth as much as possible and walking. Instead of using their cars and their bikes, walking as much as they can. The third category is connection. There's a large focus on family and focus on partnership and investing in both. They're attracting the right tribe and participating in community. The fourth category is outlook on life. This is the longevity piece, not just doing to get things done on a day-to-day -day basis, but looking beyond that. They take the time to unwind and reflect every day. Whatever it may be, they do things with faith-based practices. So having some kind of faith and involving their tribe and community in their practices. And the last is Ikigai, or Plan de Vida, which is purpose. What is the why behind waking up in the morning and doing all the activities throughout the day? What is the why that's most fulfilling for everything that happens throughout their day? All of these elements contribute to longevity of health. It's thinking beyond the day-to-day -to, -day to sustain and have communities to not only live longer, but feel stronger and active well into their 80s, 90s, and 100s. Now, I'm not saying to move to one of these blue zones, though that would be a pretty cool idea. Some folks are actually trying to build these new blue zones within the United States. Bringing this back to ourselves is adopting even a few of these and encouraging those around you to join is the start of reprogramming the longevity of your life, your health and creating your own blue zone. Let's start changing the environment within us and around us. Thank you so much.